The Bible says in Isaiah chapter 61 verse 3 that among the many things that God is able to give the saints is beauty for ashes. Please look up. How many of you have seen ashes before? Ashes is defined as the residue that is left after burning happens. Am I right? Do you know the process that leads to ashes? Ashes first starts usually with a tree, blossoming, beautiful tree. Then that tree is cut down, loses its life till it becomes wood. Then you would think that was the end of the tragedy. That wood is now subjected to fire till it becomes coal. And then from coal, it finally becomes ashes. And the Bible says, even at that point, there is still something God can do about it. From a tree to wood. That is bad enough because the life is gone. Are we together now? Now what is left is further burned until it becomes coal. And then the coal is burned until it becomes ashes. Ashes is the final state of anything when it's been burned thoroughly. The form, the beauty, the color, the glory is totally gone. You call it ashes. And the Bible says such a reality can be a man's experience. Are we together? Pay attention now. Beauty for ashes. Now look up. When we were in school, we were taught something called synonyms and antonyms. Remember? And if you recall properly, just dust your English for one minute. The opposite of beauty is not ashes. If I'm to use an antonym for beauty, it may be maybe something else. I'm not sure ashes would have been the best word there. But the Bible says that when God comes, he looks for ashes. When he finds ashes, he gives beauty. Now, one of the things you are going to be learning here is that God is a miracle worker. But the way he works his miracles is that sometimes he still leaves you with your water. He only turns it to wine. But there are times he will have to take the ashes away. You will never see it again. There is nothing that can come out of the ashes. What happens is not, is a replacement. He is not turning water to wine. When he turns water to wine, the water is there. He doesn't need to give you anything new. He will still use the water as the raw material. But the Bible says there is a way he can look at your life and see that what is there is ashes. He will collect the ashes away and give you beauty. beauty for ashes <laughs> he does not give you beauty to wrap the ashes with it he collects the ashes you may never see it again when you understand this you will learn as you'll be learning right now that even in the midst of hopelessness there is something you may never see again like your loved one who is dead you may never see them in the flesh Consider that as ashes, but that God can bring beauty. He can put something in your life. It may not be equal to a mother. It may not be equal to a father. It may not be equal to the pain. It is not all the time that water turns to wine. But if it is God, even ashes can be collected and beauty is given back. Is someone learning now? This is very powerful. When you learn this, you will know that there is nothing called hopeless for the believer. 